Emotional testimony today in the sentencing trial for a University of Illinois student convicted of killing a Chinese scholar. Brent Christensen's father testified that he can't bear the thought of his son getting the death penalty. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas has been in court and joins us live outside the federal courthouse in Peoria. Tim, a lot of tears today. Yeah, that's right, Erica and Brad. Brent Christensen has not shown much emotion throughout this trial, but today he broke down crying and put his head down into his hands. All this happened while his father also fought through tears during his testimony. Michael Christensen told the courtroom, I am just so sorry that my son was the cause of the pain for Ying Ying Zhang's family. He testified that he struggles to even think about Christensen's possible death sentence. A couple days ago, I had a flash of him on the table getting injected. I had to stop. I had to put it away, he said. He has too much to offer. Defense attorneys have tried to paint Brent Christensen as a man who struggled with alcoholism and depression who does not deserve the death penalty. His dad smoked a cigarette outside after testifying that Brent had tried to kill himself at age 15. He said Brent jumped off a deck and then ran into a car that had been driving down the road. He knew he was trying to kill himself, Michael said, but he could not explain why. Defense attorneys called Brent's uncle, Mark Christensen, in an effort to show that a family history of alcoholism may have contributed to Brent's own problems. I was an alcoholic and I still am, Mark said, but I quit drinking about 36 years ago. Defense attorneys also emphasized that Christensen's own mother and several other direct relatives were alcoholics. He also mentioned thoughts of hurting others, thoughts of harming others. Yeah. Christensen confessed to counselors months before the 2017 murder that his own drinking drove him to a dark place. Yesterday, Zhang's family testified about the unbearable pain and suffering Christensen caused by killing Zhang. His defense team and now even his own father acknowledged Christensen murdered Zhang, but he still has not said what he did with her body. A testimony will continue tomorrow. Once the defense rests their case, the jury will then go into deliberations on whether Christensen should get the death penalty. The other option is life in prison. In Peoria, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.